Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally taking a look at Scarbrand the Exile, at least some gameplay footage of them. So let's have a look. So Scarbrand of course starts uh, near, I believe, Slanesh. Yeah, because I think Slanesh is around here. But I go through that in my campaign overview video, which should be out alongside this, so definitely check that out. If I remember, I'll put a... Uh, link in the corner of the screen. Um, but with that, let's get into it. So let's take a look at the Infernius. We do have the Kennels, which has access to furries and furies, not furries. That's a completely different thing. Anyway, we've got Warhounds. Could go for Gore Beasts and Flesh Hounds. Flesh is actually really good. I like Flesh Hounds. But I don't think we absolutely need... What do we get from the get-go? We get Blood Letters. Yeah, Blood Letters are fine, but I don't know if I outright care for them right now. Okay. I've just seen what we, what we want to grab. It's my first proper look at what I'm playing, rather. Control, but not really care. We could go just for income, I guess. Uh, could go for cultists and warriors of chaos, warriors of corn. I might do that actually, because corn it functions differently to the rest in terms of settlements. We do kind of want to get income though. Income from post battle loot from all adjacent provinces. That's not bad. 30% from. Okay, what I might do is delete this. Delete them and just go for the small level income we can get. And maybe we can get some extra income from, you know, attacking from the post loot. Uh, do we really want to use internal war? It will give us some free experience. And I don't think I mind about that. We'll do this battle first, and then we'll see. Because we're going to want to build up our our bloodletting as well. The more blood victories we get, the more bonuses we get. We do start off with some blood crushers of corn. I think blood crushers are alright. We do have a blood shrine as well, great. Okay, so I shall, well, I shall see you in the battlefield because I expect this aura resolve to be painful because we are playing on legendary very hard. So we're just going to get into it. Alrighty, welcome to the battlefield. Like I said, we have the, the Blood Shrine of Corn here and Scarbrand the Exiled. But this should be an easy battle, so I don't think we really need to worry about it too much. Let's just get Scarbrand up here, maybe the Blood Shrine, and then just try to minimize the casualties here for now. Just send these guys over here. We do have the... We do have the Blood Crushers, which are quite good because they're anti infantry. They're basically just blood, uh, yeah, blood letters on, uh, on the bulls or whatever you want to call them. Just send them in there. Should be able to kick everyone's ass. What's he got here? He's got Raging Bodied. Right. I should just go straight for the Lord to be a fair. Let's charge these guys. Oh, these are more of the horsemen. We'll move the rest up just in case, but it should be fine. Scarbrand's loving this. Yeah, blood for the blood card, right? Let's just get a nice shot of this. Let's 
just charge them a bit. <laughs> and just send everything else in, why not, I guess. We basically won this battle at this point. There we go. Easy. Alright, I shall see you back on the campaign map. Alrighty. We are back on the campaign now, and I think we kind of have to get the schools right. Just because we want to grab them. There we go. And we get a blood letter, I believe now. Or Reaper, rather. Let's just grab him in our army. But one thing that we could do now is spawn this in. To get the extra experience. It does have a 15 cooldown. I think that's what we could do. There we go. Ferric victory? Yeah, okay, no. We are going to do this battle, of course. Ferric victory, what? What is this on? But yeah, I'll see you back on in the campaign. Oh, rather the battle map. All right, we are back. Now, this is an interesting battle map. It reminds me of Slanesh and Corn. Um, but yeah, let's uh, just get right into it. Honestly, it should not be a problem. All right, we have the, we do have the Blood Reaper now. We're just going to have these guys and the cavalry and even the Warhounds just, just kind of linger around. Just do some rear charges there with them. Just fast forward quickly. Just have Scarbrand yeet on them. That being said, I do have to be careful with this... Uh, Blood Reaper. He can be quite tough. Or rather mean. Does a lot of damage. Go get some nice charges in. Get the lead, the Ripple Reaper in. There we go. Free experience. Here we come. And decisive it too. All right. Like I said, it wasn't at all a throwing victory. So I'll see you back on the map. Easy enough win there. Right. Let's just garner up. You know what? That's actually quite a bit of favor. I think that's what we're going to grab. Because we don't start off with a lot of favor income. Yeah. That's all sorted. Okay, what level has Scarbrand got? He's got level 3 right now. That's quite nice. And he's almost level one, uh, 2. We're going to get Root Marcher. And we're going to go for... Probably just go for Corruption Spread. Because if we get the Corruption Spread, maybe we can get some of these other bonuses. Like 30% campaign range increase. More scores. Um, oh, yes. That might be good. The Drinker of Blood. Yes, you are. Shrunt from Flesh. Schools for the school throne. Gives me a flat income of 20 schools. Chaos Warriors of Core. And that might be actually interesting to grab. Because I do like my Chaos Warriors. They're very tanky. Corn Corruption. 5% chance of automated colonized ruined grinds. In. That's not bad. But I still don't think it's that like really worth it. Kevin movement range at uh, 10% after racing a summon. I think that's... Uh, I'm going to go for either Serial... Yeah, we're going to go Serial Killer, I think. Oh, is it... Should I go Rage Within? How much... I don't actually have any Warriors right now. I do want to get some, but... So we don't really have to go for it now. I think we're going to go for campaign movement range 10% when from racing a We're going to stay on our territory so we can grab some... Some, uh... Blood Letters. They're very expensive to be fair. I don't think we need, really want. Uh, what else do we have to recruit? Well, we are deleting that, but we could keep it around for one turn to grab some wolves. 
Oh, some the warhounds. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it around for one for for now, and we'll get rid of it next turn. Next, I still haven't really like garnered like uh, garnered uh, everything, uh, all the secrets of the campaign. So we'll get to it. I I do my most of my let's play content on Twitch though, which I will link below. So definitely check that out if you want to follow. Well, my uh, progress. I hunger for battle. You hunger for battle? Well, you're gonna get a battle, my friend. Let's get into it. So, yeah, I will see you once again in the battlefield. Alrighty. So, one thing I want to do, I think, is spread the uh, hounds about. If I spread them about, the uh, the AI may they may spread their forces. I might do it over here with the these guys as well. Just want to give them multiple into like, multiple segments because what I want to do is try and grab the supply before they use it against me. We got a lot of fast movement. Scarbrand and the Blood Reaper with the Blood Layers can just stay over here. So let's just do this. Let's move down the you over here. Torment. They did keep some marauders there. These guys are getting shot by something. You know what? Yeah, just keep moving on the. Yeah, I just run to the mid, I think. Just run to the mid, I think you guys should. Blood Shrine, yep, you're just gonna go to the mid. You guys up to you gonna cut that? Nice, nice. Try and get these guys out and then do another charge, maybe. How are you guys doing? You're doing fine. Have you caught captured this? We have. I can cap I can attack them. But you know what? The Reapers should stay back for now. Why are they lingering there? Should be finding that front. Oh, these Hodges spawn seekers. Okay. These guys go here and here. Let's go around. Let's just catch the, that so we don't have to deal with any towers. We have a tower here. Just want to get rid of them. They're broken. Good, good. We do have the Blood for the Blood God, which increases uh, the Horn of Corn, which really increases our attack. We can do that. Let's get these guys in the mid. Okay, they did block that off. Okay, just come up, just come into the fight then. Did the, the, the tower hit? Okay, come on, attack. Yep, no longer dealing with that piercing tower, which is great for our leaders, especially. Maybe we should have captured that one at his own. Ah, but those two are doing quite fine. We're moving in the Blood Throne here, or Blood Strain rather, to come and help with that engagement. But it looks like Army Lost Penalties are coming into FET now, so... Or rather, we're kind of shrashing on them.
Get him out a second. Ah, oh, there we go. We won. All right, GG. Not too many losses. A bit of the hounds, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you back on the campaign map. As expected, a decisive victory. We did quite well here. Uh, Scarbrand really did fine. The Flurry took a bit too much health, uh, health damage, but that's fine. And no one else did really that bad either. Got some good thrones, some experience. Scarbrand leveled up, and we are going to... We could gather schools for the school throwing. If we really want it, but I don't think we need to do that right now. We could go uh, spawn in blood for the blood cards. And spawn in a... A... a blood host. Or we can spend schools to occupy this right now. You know what, let's just do blood for the blood cards. Mostly because it's... I just wanted to. Here we go, we have this army now, which is quite big actually. Could have again used this actually prior to this, the school frame, which would have increased our blood host units, but that's fine. Actually, pretty decent army. We could send this a day uh, to take out Death Axe Monolith, while this army goes up north to take on Bridge of Brass. We are tanking income right now because we are paying for the second army. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. We'll get that income back. We don't really care. Like, I could take this, of course, but I don't really want to right now. I just want to get him up up, uh, up here. The reason why I, I raised it is because you get more movement, and I just want to get him up here. Like, I can grab some it later. I absolutely need it right now. Or oh, I could grab it with this army, for example. Gonna spread the corruption even more. And then you just, yeah, brutal charge, and then we'll just get maim and all that. Gonna lose a bit of income. That's fine. Like, and there's no surprise we're at war with everyone. As we're corn. What's our mission, by the way? Maintain control of the following province, Bloodfire Falls. Is that the area I'm in? That's fine. Like I said, we can grab this in a bit. Uh, we'll colonize it in a bit. I just want to get that movement increase to take the areas faster. I could go for schools for the school throwing. Um, I click that and then maybe get some more movement range. I think it could provide more movement range. Or is it only after raising? Uh, it is after raising. Yeah, I thought as much. So what we could do is go here. Before we do it, click this. And then, yeah. We're gonna get grab this settlement down here, this perhaps. Mm. Why? What's in this? So, so Neshi units, but what? Oh, that's actually a pretty good garrison. Maybe can we ambush? No, they can't really ambush. We just got demite uh, demite portals, which uh, it's not what I want. Maybe we can get them to attack us. We have an army over here, which should be fine. All oh, right, yeah, I've already moved them right. Let's get more income from here. What else do we have? These are just walls we don't really care about. I'm going to grab the armoring that allows us to get Chaos Warriors. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Grab the armor. Oh, are they attacking us? I don't mind it. Again, this isn't my main army, so I don't mind too much. We could maybe get some value out of this, especially because we've got a, a unit of flesh hounds, a unit of blood crushers, and we do have the blood shrine. And the exalted blood that is not, no, no joke either. What are we dealing with? Some demonets, which are quite annoying to deal with, I guess. Hell shrines, ah, they're, they're not too bad. Marauders, marauders can be a problem. 
So they're anti-large and these are, are these poisonous ones? I thought they were poisonous. Maybe, no, they're just arm piercing. Okay. All right, let's just uh, get into the battle and hopefully uh, we can either win this battle. If not, just do a lot of damage to it. And I'll see you in the battlefield. Alrighty, we are in. So I'm actually not sure how this battle is going to go. I really am not sure. We'd we'll have to rely a, a fairly bit on the Blood Shrine and the Doom Har Not the Doom Harvester. Well, his name is the Doom Harvesters, but yeah. We'd we'll have to rely on them. And oh, I actually didn't realize that these. this is a group of squads. Um, you're right, it's the Exalted version. Uh, I'd, Blood Reaper, Blood Letter, I, I'm reading them all wrong. But yeah, these could go fine. Do have some hounds, some flesh hounds, which are very good. I like them. They've got uh, they've got lots of uh, damage, you know, 65. It's 43 of that base weapon damage with 22 armor piercing, so it's not actually bad. Do have the uh, Libra Crushers as well, so we'll see. They are going to come around and attack us now, though. See if we can bait some of them to chase our units, maybe. This wall is actually kind of blocking me, but yeah. Can we get these guys to kind of try and distract a couple of units? Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's got magic. Yeah, this is not going to go well, I don't think. These are fast. These are so fast. Oh, and these guys are going to get chased. Yeah, look how fast they are. I mean, these are the, the cab, to be fair. My god, Slanesh is fast. She, she is dicking on my on my uh, blood shrine. Oh, what? I thought I told you to come in to attack. Yeah, this is not going to go well at all. Good lord, I missed your chest. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. The Lord is really the biggest problem, to be honest. Well, I mean, Grant... Oh, he's back. Let's get in there. Granted, this army, like, isn't amazing. The players are fine, but I wouldn't want them only. I thought keep trying to get into the combat. You're doing okay, considering you're outnumbered right now. Keep just ah, don't die. Nah, my units are slowly dying, aren't they? That's not great at all. Our lead is being a nuisance. But like I said, uh, even if we don't win this out, it would be great if we can just uh, delete their army. If we delete their army, it means that they can't just backdoor us or anything like that. They actually did a very good job on that left side. Players are quite good, to be honest with you. Oh, he's going to use that whip on himself there. Finish off some of these aren't these units as well. Just finish off some of them, but they my morale is dropped down. Yeah, there we go. Armor loss penalty. 
Uh, I, I definitely could have played that battle for sure. I think I could even win this battle if I retried it again. I misjudged the speed of well, Slash, and that was stupid of me. Uh, that was very close, and yeah, like I said, I definitely think I could have done that better. So I'll be right back and on the campaign map. All right, I again, I think if I redid this battle, I could definitely get like, get the victory, or even de killed more units. That I think the leader is what kind of was bothersome. I definitely wasted a couple units there though. Like the blood uh, the shrine, I kind of misjudged how fast Slanesh was, and they gocked him very fast with the leader and dicked on his health. But that's fine, it's my bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're just going to continue. Or rather, we're just going to uh, end it here. Because I just realised we're 30 minutes in, or close to 30 minutes in. So, if you enjoyed the video, then definitely remember to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy it. You can follow me on Twitch for gameplay for t uh, gameplay like this. I, I stream regularly, almost every day. Um, but other than that, you can support the channel by subscribing to the Patreon or buying the game off Nexus if you uh, really want to. Uh, the Nexus and all the links will be below. But other than that, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.